The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race. Warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. On amidst the Dalish elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. Dalish travel the land in tightly knit clans, struggling to maintain their half-forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests, and as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, I swear! Please don't hurt us! You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish! We didn't even know this forest was yours! This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You Shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethalan? What should we do with them? Does it matter? Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. L look we didn't come here to be trouble, we just found a cave. Yes, a cave, with ruins like I've never seen. 
We thought there might be, uh... Treasure? So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. But I... Uh, I have proof! Here! We found this just inside the entrance. The stone has carvings. Is this Elvish? Written Elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the Maker we were able to outrun it. <sighs> a demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? Run along then, Shems. And don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to this story? These carvings make me curious. Skittish Shems say it's a demon and you believe them. They probably woke up a bear. Let's see if these ruins actually exist. Then we'll worry about what to do. As you say. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? Always the careful one. Fine, but I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? telling the truth. But these ruins look more human than elven.
trap! the statue, don't you? Back when our people lived in Arlathan, statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, with the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of Arlathan? I'd never have guessed ancient elves might have lived here, with humans. Those walking corpses? This place is haunted. 